Hi guys, welcome back to Pipe Dreams. I've been having a pretty good day. My wife's out of town for the evening. Um, she left me a steak to put on a George Foreman grill, which I use for health reasons. It's much healthier to use a George Foreman grill. And I like it. it sometimes the food will dry, dry it out, but there's, there's this nice dipping tray and, at the bottom of it that, that I can use. And, uh, <clears throat> Anyway, I went to Ted's Pipe Shop, and I got some, uh, let's see, I bought a pipe, which is a Rhodesian, it's not officially Bulldog, because the, the shank is not diamond cut, but, uh, Cost me thirty bucks. I'm not sure what I'm going to smoke in it just yet, but anyway, and they gave me uh, an ounce of of uh, their own Ted's own tobacco, uh, their butter rum, free for buying the pipe. Sure smells sweet. And what else have I got today? Then the uh, package came from UPS. An order from Pipes and Cigars. I got some more Sillums. Which I like very much. And for the first time, I got Westminster by J J GLPs. Which I've been anxious to try. It's been recommended by Pipe Friend and, and some others. So I took some of this and loaded up my English pipe that was purchased in London, which I've shown on here before. I'm about to light her up with Westminster. Well, my initial reaction is very favorable. This plantation tobacco. According to the tin here, it's got New World Red Virginias and a gentle caress of bright leaf, seasoned with rich oriental tobaccos and generous measures of noble cypress mountain Latakia. Very interesting.
very tasty. And last few weeks here, I've gotten some great advice on different tobaccos and have been never been disappointed once. Have some news on another front. Remember freaking chicken? I told you it had an act. She had had an accident and fell in a bowl of chili and dissolved. Apparently, I was mistaken. She just fell off the counter onto the floor and got away where I couldn't see her. And I thought she dissolved in the chili, but she's still around. See, so she still hadn't delivered that egg. I took her to the vet, and he said, well, just give her time. I want to know why she didn't have any feathers. Said, That's why I found her. She didn't have any feathers on We very kindly took her in. And he was saying to take uh, good care of her and keep a close eye on her because there's a lot of chicken cancer going around. I said, really? Chicken cancer? Um, is it because the chicken smoke or <clears throat> he said he didn't think so that um, a lot of farmers raised their chickens to have cancer and I said well that doesn't make any sense why would a lot of a chicken farmer want his chicken to have cancer he said, well, some of the fast food restaurants like McDonald's will firm that way. So there's more meat on them. You ever have chicken McNuggets? You ever wonder what part of the chicken a nugget is? Well, according to this vet, this isn't for general circulation, but Apparently, they're cancerous tumors, and uh, so in addition to other parts of the chicken, they can uh, cut these off and put them in batter and fry them up and call them McNuggets. Actually, they're not tumors. Just keep that in mind next time you go to McDonald's or KFC or someplace and order the, the nuggets. So I guess Crickin is part of the family now. Doesn't do much except squawk and try to lay this egg. Maybe it will, maybe it won't. I do like this tobacco. Can't seem to get it lit very well. Probably something I did wrong. I'm going to watch a little TV and smoke this Westminster down and fix me that steak. So I'll, um, I'll see you guys later. Meanwhile, sweet pipe dreams.